It's home day, and this might be one of the most important purchases you make. You want to make sure you're making the right choice. Please welcome the one and only Brian Gluckstein. <laughs> Joining us in our lovely Hello, set. Right? Sofas. Sofas. Okay, we're going to talk about the sofas, and you know, there's a whole huge range of prices out there for, there for, for good sofas. There but there's certain things you want to think about, it, just in terms of their size and scale and, and what they look like. Correct. The one in here, I mean... This is from Hudson's Bay. That is gorgeous. The gray is gorgeous. Isn't that gray? It's that like a man's suiting fabric. Feel. Yeah, I like that. that. Cool? Yeah, so this is, we're seeing a big trend today of sofas that are up on legs. Right. That are lighter, that are, this is a, a design that um, we saw in the 70s and 60s. Some of it is mid-century, even the 50s you see that. And that's okay. coming back, that whole mid-century look. But when it comes to condos or if you're placing sofas in front of windows that go down to the floor, it's nice to have this lightness. Small spaces when you're mm. using a sofa up like this really is great for a small space because it feels more airy. It doesn't feel like this big heavy sofa yeah. to the floor. So there are areas for both styles. Also, the narrower arm. Really thin. Yes. So that uh, is very important when you don't have a lot of space. So if you, yeah. want, if you have lots of space and you want to do those big arms, that's fine, but it restricts how much seating there is if you get a smaller sofa. And this chair is what we call a chair and a half. Let's go. Let's try it out. Yes. Is it really just a Tracy and a half? No, or is it's it a actually Tracy both of us can fit on that. Oh, my gosh. We can even fit one more. Yes, we could. Like I could have like a Sydney we or an could. Eva right there. It could there. be two and a half. It totally. So that's this good. is a it's great generous. design. For, first of all, if you have a party and you want to sit like this. Yeah. But if you don't have enough room for another sofa, and there's more room than for just a chair. Yes. We do do often this. do a chair and a half. And sometimes people will sit sideways, you know. I mean, I shouldn't do this, but. Go ahead. I mean, I'll just sit like Go this and watch TV. Look at and, how relaxed that is. That is good. <laughs> yeah. I would do that. I would do that. Those long, dangly legs you hang over the side. Those. But, um, but yeah, so we're seeing a lot of shape. Now, one of the things you have to be careful of is access into the space. So if you live in a condominium or if it's going in a lower level, mm -hmm. please make sure you can get it in. Right. Because there are many sofas <laughs> that are sitting on curbs. That's right. For, for, or in the garage because they can. And it's funny because the daughter of a client of mine, Kay, we were in a meeting she came with and she said, I just bought this house and I want this big media room in the lower level and I don't know how you can get anything down the stairs mm -hmm. because it's underneath the main staircase and you walk in this hallway and you have to make a right in a door and go down. She said, I don't know how they're going to get a sofa down there. Yeah. That's where you look for modular seating. Okay. So that's where you buy sectional pieces where you can buy this piece, you can buy this piece, and you can buy this piece and they bolt together. Right. So if you're looking at a condo that's very small access, small elevators, narrow hallways, hard to get in, modular seating. And don't make the mistake of just measuring this way. You've got to do the depth as well. If that can't get through Correct. a door, you might be in Correct, and we'll show you some sofas that can be trouble for getting into certain spaces. Okay, so let's look at the next sofa we had. This one is very streamlined. Um, it's yes. very clean, very and I clean. like that about this. This next one uh, is a beige one. You can see there's a little bit more cushiness in it. And this is what we call a William Birch. This is a classic okay. English sofa. So this is actually the opposite of this sofa. It has a turned leg. Yeah. It has a pleated arm. Mm -hmm. Not a big arm, but a pleated arm. And that's sort of the classic... Uh, traditional sofa, great for family rooms, great for cottages, things like that. Great sofa. But that is if you were looking for a more traditional More look. traditional, so sort of relaxed, relaxed traditional. Okay, all right. Now this one I absolutely love. And part, part of it is just because the, the cushions, look, yes. everything looks so comfy about it. But it also has that traditional arm. Yes, it's got that traditional arm. Now the arm is the same height as the back. That's a sofa that you have to be very careful moving in. Because okay. if you can't, it, you know, with a lower arm, you can sort of move it in a doorway. If the the arm, like a tuxedo sofa, is the yeah. same height as the back. You have to measure the door because it's not only deep, it's high. Right. But it has what we call French nails, which are those studs, and that's I a really that. beautiful detail, especially in nickel. When you do the nickel French nails, that adds sort of a modern quality to a traditional sofa. Okay, so what about this one now that we have? It, it, to me, it, it's a little bit more reminiscent of it's the It's reminiscent of this. We call right this a show wood frame, not uh -huh. in the traditional sense where you see carved show wood, which is a different style, but this has a wood base on it. Okay. Typically, this is a little more expensive because your manufacturer has to inventory all those bases and all the different sizes. Where a sofa like this, they have the legs. Mm -hmm. It's more economical to make because no matter what size it is, whether it's the 
chair, the love seat, the sofa, the apartment size, they just have the four legs. Right. When you see that wood frame, they've got to make that for each size. So typically that ends up being a little more expensive. And that's going to be tougher to move too, because often these legs can come off. Correct. Which is going to give you some more space. Absolutely. That's why this is a perfect sofa for a condo or a lower level, because you've only got this depth to get through a door or right. down the hallway. What's the worst move you ever had to do? Do you I've ever had have to get a king doozies. size bed? We, we were in trouble with our king size bed, trying to get it up to the third floor. We had to get a mattress that literally like folded, folded like an accordion. Because yeah, there's just not a lot of space in I, these old homes. I had an old like Chinese break front, which was huge. And it was a client's existing for a condo. And we thought we could get in. And well, there was no way we could get in. And then we thought we'd hoist it up the outside of the building. Yes. We couldn't get it over the railing. <laughs> so then the client, who's a developer, said, just go away. Just you deal with other things. <laughs> and, and he owns buildings that have elevators. So he must have called the elevator company. So all of a sudden, I come around into the foyer. And the elevator door opens. But the elevator is down at the floor. The china cabinet was on top of the elevator. Oh. And it comes flying out into oh. the hall. And he called the elevator company and a lot of his guys and said, get on top of the elevator. Oh, my gosh. And don't try that. That is not happening. Oh, my gosh. That was the last. I was literally lying on the floor saying, I can't believe it. So now we're moving them again. We've got to get the thing out of there. Oh, I said, no. you're on your own. Oh, I don't want no. to be there. Nothing. I like that he tried that, though, because it worked. That's why he was like, go away. Don't worry. I'll exactly. take care of it. Don't exactly. worry about it. This last sofa we have now. His button that, tufted. Yeah, yes. Tufting. So we see the tufted sofa. That's a classic sofa. For that similar yeah. to the one we saw with the French nails. The tufting is great. It's a classic look. Great in the library. Always looks neat. Yeah. I wouldn't buy it if the kids are jumping up and down on it because the buttons oh, no. can separate. But if you, you know, you're adults and you're sitting and you're not crazy adults, yes. the button tufted is great. <laughs> that is for when the kids are off to university, then you go get that sofa. Exactly. And right? I want to thank Hudson's Bay for uh, supplying That's the whole gorgeous. Set. So good. Well,